choose for her to come to this world. Father, as she celebrates today, oh Lord, my Father, we join the host of heaven, Lord, to rejoice with our sister. Daddy, I pray, oh Lord, that, oh Lord, today, oh Lord, will not cost our soul. Father, today will not cost our tears. As today, oh Lord, is the day my father in glory that she was born. Father, I pray, Holy Ghost, let flesh fire go with her. Let fresh anointing go with her. Let fresh boldness go with her. Let fresh sea go with her. I pray, oh Lord, that she will not stop her journey in halfway. Merciful Father, I pray for all your children. Daddy, oh Lord, my Father, that be, oh Lord, among those that were born in this month of August. Father, I pray, Holy Ghost, that your spirit, oh Lord, will not depart away from her. Father, as you are making this month of August be a special month, I pray, oh Lord, they will receive a special blessing in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, have your way this morning. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, I invite you this morning that you will come and feed our heart. Lord, metamorphose us. Lord, and take away every distraction out of our way. That at the end, glory and honor be unto you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I said, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. In, I'm, not, I'm not hearing you people. I open your mic. I said, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brothers, I'm not hearing you. I said, pray, pray, pray. Hello, brothers and sisters. It is good to be in the presence of the Lord. It's only in the presence of God you can be saved. Whenever we gather like this, always be in a place you cannot sleep so that the devil will not hijack the war from you. Each day, each hour we gather, there is always a good news God wants to pass to you. Do not allow sleep to take you in this particular time. The word of God is life and the word of God is healing. The word of God is freedom. The word of God is success. The word of God is breakthrough. The word of God is deliverance. I tell you that God, who is our refuge, God, who is our helper, God, who is our joy, is with us this morning again. And I pray that he will speak to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, my brothers and sisters in the Lord, we are going to be looking at this particular message, the message of I open. The four categories of Christians in church today. And this message, you will not really check your life and to know which category you belong to. Out of these four categories, you are among of the one. Is is it something, is a force? You are among 
of the one out of these four categories. I tell you that God wants to speak to you to open your eyes to really see to really see the area you belong to because some people are living they don't know the position they are in the church they don't know the position they are but in this particular time you must know the part, the position you belong to because if you don't know the position you belong to it will not help you but if you know the position you belong to you will work on it more and more my beloved brothers and sisters let's open our bible to the book of Luke chapter 8. We are going to take it from verse 4 to 15. You need to know the category, the, the, the area you belong in the Christian dome. I pray God of heaven will really open your eyes through this message. Please, are we there now? Are we there? Nobody is there in the book of Luke, chapter 8, from verse 4 to 15. Yes, sir. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. That's why I say, and when much people were gathering together and were coming to him out of the city, he speak by a parable, verse 5. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was crept down, and the law of the head devoured it, six, and some fell by a rock. And as soon as it was sprinkled up, it withers away because it lacked moisture. Verse 7. And some fell at the throne, and the throne speak up, it was, and cheek it, it, and all that fell on good ground, and spring up, and bear fruit, and undreadful. And when he has said those things, he cried, He that has ear to hear, let him hear. Verse 9. And these disciples asked him, saying, What might thing this parable be? 10. And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but to others in parable, that they see, they may not see. And hearing, they may not understand. Verse 11. And now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Verse 12. Those by the wayside are them that hear them, come at the devil and take away the word out of their heart, lest they should believe and be saved. 13. They on the rock are they which they hear, receive the word with joy. And those have no root, wish for a while, because it is time of temptation, first a will. 14. And that which fell among thrones are they which, when they have health going forth and are cheeks with care, and reach a pleasure of this life, and bring no fruit to perfect it. 15. But those on the good ground, and then wishes honor and good heart, having heard the word, kept it, and bring forth fruit with patience. 16. Stop no there. man. God bless you. Okay. God bless you. My beloved brothers and sisters, I believe as the sister was reading, 
I believe you already know the category you have belongs to. Remember the topic, the four category of the Christians of today. You see, know that uh, this war, the parable, now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. The seed is the word of God. And that word of God has been coming day and night. But you check your life, that word of God have no effect in you. The word of God does not have effect in you. It says some people, they receive it with gladness, but after receiving it, but they have no word effect in their life. What a pity. And what a miserable life. But this parable will repeat, Jesus repeat this message in three ways. Let's, I want another person to read us. We are going to look at this three, this three area. But why is it that Jesus repeat the message in three ways? But now, we first of all look at first the first set of people, the first category of people. Those by the wayside are they that hear, they hear them commit the devil and take it away, the word out of their heart. Those people, they hear the word of God, they are on this group, they are out there in the church, but they hear the word of God, but the devil came and take them away. What a pity and what a terrible life. That somebody is hearing the word of God day by day, now by night. After hearing the word of God, the devil will come and take the message out of their life. The message will go out of their life. Friends, are you in that category that you are be hearing the word of holiness, but the devil take it out of your life. You are be hearing the message, obedient is better than sacrifice, but the devil come and word and take it out of your life. You are be hearing the message, repent, the kingdom of God is at hand, but repent that you are not repenting. No repentance in your life. Satan comes and take the message out of your life. What a terrible and miserable life. That you are hearing the word, but after hearing it right now, Satan will come and take it out of your life. Simply means Satan has, Satan is not taking the good things out of your life. Leave the wicked things in your life. Friends, that is the first category. You are seeing those people, they are on this group, they are out there, but you don't see change in their life. They have a dubious character. They have the unforgiving spirit are still there, malice is there, proud is there, Arrogance is there, immorality is there, wickedness are there. That is the set, the first set of people that are in, in this category, this four category. We move forward to see the why Jesus really repeats this message in three times. Three times he repeated it in the gospel. Let's read in the book of Matthew, chapter. We are going to see Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13. First reader. Matthew 13. Let's take it from verse 13, uh, verse 18 to 23. Are we there? 
Yes, sir. Please go ahead. I don't know why when we are talking of to read Bible, whether you are sleeping, people are sleeping, I don't know. But I thank God for your life, my dear. Go ahead and read the Bible. The more I read the Bible, the more the, the word will sink into your life. Mm -hmm. you, I will say, open your Bible. You don't open your Bible. You think that you are doing yourself good. You are doing yourself evil. When we are preaching, when we are studying the Bible, you don't open it, but you open your iPad and begin to do game. Do another thing, but when you were supposed to open the word of God, you don't open it. I pity you. Go ahead. I read in Jesus' name. Yea, yeah, yea, yeah, therefore, the parable of the sower. 19. When anyone heareth the word of the king, the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth away that which sown in his heart. This is he which received the seed by the wayside. 20. But he that received the seed into stony places, the place is he that heareth the word, and honor with joy receive the seed. 21. Yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. A great tribulation or persecution arises, because of the word, by and by, he is offended. And so, he also that received seed among the tongues is he that heareth the word, and the care of this word, and the deceitfulness of riches, takes the word, and it becometh unfruitful. 22. But he that received seed into the good ground is he that heareth the word, and understandeth it, which also heareth fruit, and bringeth forth some an hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. God bless you. Do you see that? This is the second time we are reading it. We are going to see the third very sh in shortly. Now, the second is a day. Day is a day. Day on the rock. And they wish when they hear receive the word with joy, and those have no roots, where which for a while believe, and in time of persecution before a will. In the time of persecution before a will. Persecution arose, tribulation arose because of the of the war by and by he is offended and they know people here when they are following us they are hearing the word they are receiving it they receive it they receive the word with joy but the word have no root inside them when they hear sometimes they hear we speak they get offended they get offended even they will get offended with the truth they will get offended with what we and what we are saying and they will move out or something else happen they get offended they said i move out of the church those are the second category because they receive it for when troubles, tribulation, or persecution arose, arose because of the word, by and by, he is offended. Are you that person? Whenever your wife tells you the truth, you get offended. Whenever you hear the truth, you get offended. Are you know people? They say, ah, brother, this your own teaching is too hard. They get offended and they move out. Those are people that are in second category of the in in in, the, in this in this uh, in, in the four people that are in the church. They get offended with truth, but they never get offended with error. 
When pastor is telling them, it shall be well with them. They don't care about their soul. They love that pastor more than the person that is talking, that is preaching the truth. They hate the truth and love error. They don't get offended where as they are living in sin. That they, they want to hear pastor is telling them, continue your sin, continue your immorality, continue your anger, continue your provocation, continue your worldliness. Those are the things they want to hear. But we can't do that because we are separated preachers. We are preachers God ordained by himself to go and give the message. We are messengers. We are newscaster, casting the news from heaven. And therefore, we cannot add to the news that are being written from heaven. We can't detort away from it. Because of that, we can't jeopardize with the source that Christ has put on our hand. Whether they are 10 or they are 20, we are going to stand to give them the real truth of life. You need to check, are you in that category of that error that somebody rebuke you for your error? You get offended. I mean, many people have get offended with us. I know many are still going to get offended because the day are evil. They love to live in error and die in error and go to hell with error. Even when your wife is telling you, oh, me, this is the word of God, you are arguing, you paint, you, you, you do it like this. You don't like to obey it. You get offended. Friend, you are this second category. Now, we look at the third category of people in the church. And that which fell among the throne are they which when they have heard so go forth and cheat with tears and riches and praise you of this life and bring it and bring no fruit to, uh, to perfection. Now, those are the people that are in that, the third category. They hear it, but they are after the cares of this world. They are not after the cares of above. They are after the riches of this world. They are not after the riches of above. They are after the pressure of this world, after the makeup, after the weaving, after the beauties, after the dress, after the handbag, the latest handbag, after the immorality that are in the world, after what this the enjoyment of sinfulness, of immorality, of fornication. These are the pressure the, of this world. Those are the only thing that they think about. They don't think about the ones in a boat. The Bible says, let your heart, let your treasure be where your heart be, will be. But today, many people have no treasure anymore in heaven. Many people, their mind is no focus on heaven. Their mind are focusing pastors, many pastors, many Christians. That is the reason why you see them. When they talk about that, hey, they get offended. When they talk about supporting the ministry, they get offended. When they talk about giving offering, they get offended. When they are going to give offering, they look for rare requests. To go and give offering. They even have abundance. When they will calculate the money they are going to pay for tithe, they get offended. Hey, how will I go and give this big money to God? Hmm. Because they don't have mind 
of the things of Abu. They have pressure. They have they, they, are, they focus on the pressure on the things of this world. They never focus on the things of Abu. Let's look at the book of Mark, chapter Mark. Let's look at Mark, chapter four. Mark, chapter four, verse thirteen to twenty. Let's see the other why this message will repeat three times by Jesus. Mark, are we there? Mark chapter four. No, you know. Brother Michael, your voice is low, please. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable, and how then will ye know all parables? The sword sweat the word. Fifteen, and these are the lay by the wayside where the word is so. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was so in their heart. Verse 16. All these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, whom when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness, and have no root in themselves, and so endure, but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution arises, for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as such as hear the word. And the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the loss of other things, Entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfaithful. Verse 20. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word, and receive it, and bring forth fruit. Some thirtyfold, some sixty, and so on, and hundred and hundred. God bless you. God bless you. You can see you can see that. He expanded again to us. And brothers and sisters, you need to check, are you among these three categories? The cares of this world and the deceitfulness of the riches of this world and the lust of other things enter in. Hey, the case of other things, entire pastors today. That is why pastor cannot preach anymore about repentance. That is why pastor cannot preach again. Repent, the kingdom of God is at hand. Be ye holy, for I am holy. There are pastors that know the truth, but because of the clear, because of the clear of these other things that are in this wicked world. They have deviated away from the message, giving the people the poison to eat because of the want to be famous in this world, because they are looking for selfish interests, because they are looking for popularity, because they want to be rich. Friend, they are rich in this world, but they are not rich towards God. What a disaster! What a terrible error, what a terrible tears, what a terrible pain of eternity. When somebody dies, be in this the death category. When somebody dies and be in that first category. When somebody dies and be in the first category, second category, third category, what a miserable life. But these are Christians in the church. These are not people that are outside the church. These are Christians that are in the church. Envy is there. Ego is there. Arrogance is there. Unforgiveness spirit is there. Malice is there. Stealing is there. Lie is there. I do know people that are even lying to God. They lie to the servant of God. 
You think that you are lying to me, you lie to God. And you know, people, when we finish preaching, they will go, hey, you don't hear what evangelist said to me. It's me that he used to preach. This evangelist, your own is too much. Friend, because of the cares of other things, they cares about those their fashion, those their thing. They never care about where they are so is ready to. But we look at this, the last point. This the fifth, the fourth category of people. The fourth category of people are those, those are they are they which are, are, are so on a good ground such as hear the word and receive it and bring it forth fruit some 30 food some 60 food and some 100 brothers and sisters you need to really check yourself which category are you which category are you but that on the good ground <laughs> On the good ground, the person that good ground supremely, those that are hear the word, they live by the word, they follow the step, whether persecution, whether troubles, whether famine, whether anything, they decided to say, No, I take God as my first priority. Whether hardship comes, I obey the word of God. No matter the situation that I'm going to face, I have make up my mind to follow God. These are the four categories of people that are in the church. These are the four categories of pastors that are out there. There are some pastors, they make up their mind. Whether con rain or shine, I have make up my mind to preach the Holy Ghost. Whether I have multitudes of people or I don't have number, is not my headache. My headache is to stand on the truth, to preach the truth to the people. There are is also a people that I hear the word, just like his sister told me that day. He said, I have make up my mind, I have make up my mind to follow the Lord. Such people are among this fourth food that have made up their mind not to cheat God. I could remember she told me she have made up her mind. She have seen how how uh, uh, how Satan rubbish her by her faith to obey what the Lord is saying. That she have made up her mind, whether tight, whether money, whether anything, when there is nothing that will make her to offend God again. Friend, those are people that are in this setup or fourth category. Whether Baglumi is there or Baglumi is not there. Whether they connected like this, that they don't have church there, that as they connect, they know that they are in the presence of God. Every other thing stop. But he, I am over with, the, with, with my master. They fear God, they follow him. Whatever that any scripture, they don't take some part of the scripture, just like many Christians are doing today. Some Christians they take some a scripture, they said, No, this one oh, we follow this one. But some people they have no word, they have no room in this four category. They have room of the first category, second category, third category. But this fourth category belongs to those Christians, real Christians, born again Christians, born again Christians. Christians that have lost their hope on the things of this world, they, they put hope on the coming of Christ. They know that the King of Kings is coming. Friends, we are seeing multitudes of pastors all over the world. We are seeing multitudes of Christians all over the world. We are seeing multitudes of uh, people praying on Facebook, giving wrong messages on Facebook, but a day is coming when we not really know who are those people. Who are those people that really serve God? But I pray for you that you should not follow the wrong people and go to hell because ignorant of not knowing the truth will not be an excuse when we cross to the other side. Ignorant of not living a holy life will not be an excuse. 
in glory of not what obeying the truth will not be an excuse. I hope I am communicating with people this morning. I hope, yes, sir. I hope nobody is sleeping. No, sir. Brothers, I hope nobody is sleeping. Preach, no, sir. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. God bless you. Because some people right now, they say they are holiness brothers, they are holiness sisters, but they are still adding with you. <laughs> Friends, those people are not in this the fourth category. This fourth category, look at it, is a bet that on the good ground, on the good ground, simply mean those have received the truth, the truth of the word of God. That is the people that are on the good ground. Those, it's a bet that on the good ground are they which is, is an honor, honest and good heart, having, having heard the word and keep it and bring forth much fruit to perform, uh, to perform it. Some 30, some 60, some 100. Do you see? In the in, in, even in that so that fourth category, there are six level, level one, level two, level three. But if you are level one, what what a miserable like 30? Friend, 30, 30. I don't think that 30 is a good mark. Am I right? 30 is not a good mark. You can't have 30 in school in mathematics. You will say, Hey, I have passed. Nobody can have such a not, uh, mark. The person will begin to rejoice at first. But when you have 60, yes, you can rejoice that you pass. But when you now have 100, hey, you are happy. Friend, you need to check. Are you among of those categories? Or you are really a believer? A born again. A born again. That you, you are not among this last category. I tell you, there is a very big question mark in your Christianity. There is a very big question mark in your Christianity. But you need to bow down your head this morning and really look into your life. Which category are you? But you can repent this morning and be this last category, the first one of bearing the good fruit. Having 60, having 100, you can be on that category this morning by repenting right now. This message came to you this morning because the Lord cares about your life. There are people that are Christians, they are still smoking. There are sisters that are saying they are, they are Christians. They are still, they are drunkards. Brothers are smoking. They smoke marijuana, they smoke ashishi, they smoke cigarettes, they drink. Oh, my friend, you are not a Christian. Something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. You are that category, the first category of people that they hear the word. The Satan came out and took it away from them. But you can tell Satan, I break that you this morning. You are that person that the message comes, you kick against the truth, you swallow error. You are such a person. You are such a person, you rob yourself, you rob God, you rob the government. I didn't know people there, they are going right now, going to government, to rob government, lying to government, to take the money, right? But such a people are among the, those two, uh, the second category. I didn't know people that are robbing God, Thief in the church. Pastors have become thief, espartans of thief, robbing God, robbing the people. So people are among of those two categories. But when we now cross to the other side, there will be, there will be, there will be what? There will be registered. You know, after exam, there must be, there must call, after the exam, there must call for what? To take results. Nobody write exam, that result will not be out. Result must out. Friend, all of us, we are going to we are going to receive the exam. We are going to receive what the result after our exam. When we close to the other side, you will not receive the result of the exam. 
the exam you wrote, whether if you are monk or if you receive 30, it's well for you. If you receive 60, it's good for you. If you receive 100, it's good for you. It is what I do today. God cannot use my credit to give to my wife. God cannot do that. God cannot give my wife credit to that. Look, it's not possible. It's only here we are husband and wife. When we cross to the other side, the line, husband and wife is over. Friend, you need to know this. When we cross to the other side, we are not brothers and sisters. We are no more husband and wife. My brothers and sisters, I want you to cry to God this morning and look into your life. Which category are you? Are you those category of error, living in error? That truth is not coming to you. Are you among those categories that the message is coming, that your ear is deaf? Are you among those categories that when message is on, you allow Satan to rubbish you are sleeping? You never get anything because Satan came to rob you. Why can't you pray this morning and tell the Lord, help me? Tell the Lord, my eyes are open. This is the truth. How can a Christian a Christian be angry with the Bible. How can a believer, a born and gay Christian, begin to argue with the Bible? Oh, no wonder in the book of a, in the book of a Second Chronicle, chapter twenty-five, verse two, say, "He did that which is right, but not with a perfect heart. He did not serve with a perfect heart." You can pray and tell the Lord, "Lord, I come." You can pray right now. The message is over. You can open your mind and cry and tell the Lord, here am my Lord, save me. I have seen the category I belong to. It's a personal decision. It's a personal journey. Every day by day, I tell you that word. Don't let somebody to confuse you. Pastor's grace will not carry you to heaven. Pastor's grace has limit. Pastor's grace it has limit. It cannot carry you to heaven. It is a personal work decision. You are the one that will say goodbye to immorality. You are the one that will say goodbye to envy. Goodbye to stealing. Goodbye to proud. Goodbye to smoking. Goodbye to drunkenness. You are the one that will say goodbye to immorality. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye to the things of this world. You are the one. It's a decision. Eternal Father. I want to thank you. I want to bless you for open our eyes to see these four categories of Christians and pastors that are in the church. Precious Father, people claim they are Christians, but no sincerity in them. Are there no people here? They cannot even live with their neighbor in peace. They are fighting, they are quarreling, they are liars, they deceive each other, husband and wife, brothers and sisters. People get offended on the truth and they follow error. Lord, our eyes are open to see if we follow error. If we follow the truth, Lord, there is exam and there is a result waiting for us. Eternal Father, I bow down myself. I pray, Holy Father, that you will help me. After I have preached to others, I will not be a castaway. Lord, I don't want to be the food of one, two, and three, but I want to be the fourth category for people. I don't even want to be a 30. I don't want to be a 60, but I want to be a 100, Lord. Precious Father, I pray right now for as many of your children that are crying, say right now, I repented for my sin. I have seen it is a personal decision, a personal choice. Lord, those that are saying right now, I make amendment. Oh, my Father in glory, we can't hide it for you. Precious Father, your word has come. 
I pray this morning that you will heed us. You will forgive us our foolishness. You will forgive us our sinfulness. Lord, you will pity us as a father pity his children. Therefore, eternal father, I pray those evil agents that are becoming, Lord, to hijack a way truth out of our life. Lord, that power, let it be broken right now. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, I pray right now that those that are in first category, second category, third category, Father, you will rescue them this morning. Lord, help them. Lord, take away those habits, that habit out of them, and give them a new habit. Holy Father, we need your helping hand. We can't do it alone. As they are crying now, making a decision, I pray, Father, that you will help them. That at the end, we have the cause to glorify. Lord, as we choose to follow you, Father, help us to really live according to your way. That at the end of this journey, we all will have that fruit of hundreds, not even 30, not even 60, but Lord, 100. Precious Father, help us to walk to perfection. Help us to walk to that level of perfection that is. That at the end, O oh Lord, glory and honor be unto you. Lord, those that are scribe right now and make up their mind, I pray, Lord, your joy will not depart away from them. Your happiness will abide in them. Let peace be their portion. Let love be their portion. Let blessing be their portion. Let sources be their portion. Lord, guide them and protect them from the hands of the evil one that the devil will not succeed anymore to hijack what belongs to them. Blessed be the holy name. Lord, I pray the blood of Jesus Christ upon our land. The blood of Jesus Christ protect us. The blood of Jesus Christ sanctify us. The blood of Jesus Christ guide us. Lord, I pray that offense spirit that the devil has sowed into the heart of people. Lord, I pray that you will root it out in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, Holy Ghost, the cares of this world, Lord, will not conquer your children. Lord, the fashion of this world, the pressure of this world will not conquer us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Christ. blessed be the Holy Name. For you be the glorified. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, we have come to the end of this program. Endeavor to make sure you share this message to your brothers and sisters out there. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. When message come there, go there and share it on your WhatsApp. Go there and share it to your email. Go there day by day, share the message so that the people out there in the world can be saved. As you do that, God of heaven will bless you.